calculating E cell value to predict feasibility of redox reactions. This is a typical question which requires us to calculate E cell value. From the equation, determine which species oxidizes and which reduces. At oxidation number 0, this is the lowest oxidation number of zinc. Hence, you will expect zinc to oxidize. This implies copper 2 plus will be reduced. It is not possible for both zinc and copper 2 plus to oxidize in this equation as it violates the principles of a redox reaction. From your data booklet, you will see a list of reduction half equations. Species which will be oxidized are found on the right hand side. Species which will be reduced are found on the left hand side. Since zinc is oxidized, search for zinc on the right hand side. Write the half equation which contains zinc on the right hand side. Search the half equation which contains copper 2 plus on the left hand side. There are two half equations which contain copper 2 plus on the left hand side. Choose half equations which has a larger positive value. It implies that copper 2 plus is more likely to be reduced to copper. This skill is a general guide and it is applicable for reduction half equations. Write the copper 2 plus to copper half equation below the half equation of zinc. Check that copper 2 plus and zinc are diagonal to each other. To calculate E cell, apply anti clockwise rule. where E cell will be positive 0 0.34 minus minus 0 0.76 to give us an E cell of positive 1.10 volts. Where E cell is greater than 0, reaction is visible. When E cell is less than zero, reaction is not feasible. Note that we have assumed that the concentrations are all in one mole per dm cube. Using very diluted concentration of copper 2 plus may result in a reaction to not occur. This is because it causes the E naught to become smaller than positive 0 0.34. Replay this video if you think there's a need to.